Hi, I'm Eva Scheffler, and this is your BNB Coronavirus Report for Friday, March 20th. It is the fifth day of this quarantine and the whole shutdown because of the pandemic. I am slowly getting cabin fever. <laughs> I have had apple slices for my breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the past, like, four days. So, um, I could have been here for hours. I could have been here for, like, a few minutes, maybe days. But my bed is the most comforting thing during this whole thing. And naps are getting me through all the work. So, Albany Governor Como said yesterday that we may not see the peak of the virus for about like 45 days. So, New York, stay healthy, please. Como announced that the businesses should reduce staff to just 25% during the duration of the pandemic. And Washington Congress is negotiating a third relief package affected Americans in Nassau County. Laura Coran announced that there are now 300 cases of the virus as testing ramps up in Jones Beach and in Jericho. To see how the shutdown is impacting streets of Belmar and Merrick, BNB correspondent Casey Farr hit the streets for a closer look at the impact of the shutdown on our local community. Hey everybody, it's Casey Farr here, driving around amid the coronavirus, but we have to go see how this is going to affect traffic, how it's going to affect businesses, how it's going to affect the entire community. So, my prediction, I don't think it's going to be all that crowded around but let's go find out let's drive around to some places now we're uh, about to turn onto bedford avenue our first stop of the day as here it is signal on and it doesn't look too crowded over there not well, to be fair it's also a thursday in the middle of the day it's like two o'clock but a lot of empty spots not a whole lot of business. Ralph's looks empty. Ralph's is usually always busy because it's so good. Um, I, don't just, I just don't see a whole lot of business transactions going on around here. A lot of empty spots in the parking, sp parking spots, you know what I mean. So now we're going down Camp Avenue, the second destination of the day and obviously right now we would be in school and not a whole lot of cars normally around this time would be like around pickup so all these would be all these spots would be filled Mepham parking a lot looks like it's going to be pretty empty I don't even see one single car then they get the barricades up so good thing there isn't <laughs> But um, the rest of this here is mostly residential, so I'm sure that isn't impacted that much. But let's see, here's, here's a few cars coming. The roads, though, just seem to be dead. Like, there's a lot of parked cars here because this is obviously residential, but not a ton of people driving. So, just got off Camp Avenue, about to turn onto Merrick Avenue, our third destination of the day another more business oriented street like uh, Bedford that we were on before so I don't know how it's affecting this but if you see over there there isn't a whole lot of a whole lot of cars on the street and then again like I've said before we're in the middle of the day but usually it's a busy street no matter if you go out during an off period or just in your free time sometime during the day normally a lot busier than what I'm expecting it to look like as we're about to turn yeah like there's pretty much not many people here at the moment that parking lot is legit empty um, gas station no one's there 7-eleven no one's there I can just go on and on down the street about how empty I'm guessing the rest of it's gonna be. Entered some more residential, so this obviously isn't gonna be all that affected. And then over here is Merrick Avenue Middle School. And I don't there's one car in the entire parking lot. So just the effects of how all of this has shaped the community. Alright, turning on to Sunrise now. 
Let's see how the heart of the island is holding up. And, uh, railroad looks to be doing all right. Not many people are going into the city at this point, but doesn't look like there's a whole lot of empty spots. Red lights are fun. Um, up ahead, Dunkin' Donuts doesn't look to be doing so well though over there. And I obviously can't really tell besides that. But it's up right here. Um. Over here though, the railroad doesn't look to be doing too good. And then Verizon's empty. They're clo they even look to be closed. The bank doesn't look to be doing too well. All of those parking spots are empty, so that's really bad. But to be fair, again, no one's going into the city. And it just also, there's not even a lot of people on the roads. Like, usually this entire thing over there would be, uh, filled with cars waiting at the light. There's maybe those seven or eight cars back, which isn't that much. And it doesn't matter what time of the day, this road's always posting a lot of vehicles, but not much right now. It's wide open in front of me, but then again, that was in the light. So, obviously a lot of places are struggling. Not just uh, some of the not just the streets, some of the businesses, some of the schools, everything's just seem to be uh, struggling because of COVID nineteen. Thanks, Casey. And for more information on how the shutdown is affecting our town, let's check in with some other B and B reporters that have covered throughout the neighborhood. Hi, I'm Lily Epes, and as you know, it's day four of coronavirus. This virus has everyone stuck in their homes, but everything seems pretty normal here on Waltoffer Street. Dinkelmeyer is right down the block from me, and there's still families and kids playing, but of course within a distance. Being cooped up in my house all day has not been easy. From a person who barely has time to eat dinner on school nights, this is definitely a change in pace. I think I can speak for all the athletes out there and say this quarantine has not been easy for them either. Not being able to play the sport you love with your friends is something you don't want to let go of, especially if it's being ripped from you without even knowing it. We all just have to stay positive and hang in there and hope that we'll see our season soon. As my softball coach says, expect the worst, but hope for the best. Day four on the coronavirus takeover from BNB, I'm Lily Epes. Hello, greetings and salutations from day four of the coronavirus shutdown. Hopefully, everyone is staying safe, happy, and healthy during such difficult times. As we navigate our way through this crisis, we are fortunate enough to have the support from our teachers, administrators, and families during this pandemic. Even though it is very important to stay on top of our schoolwork, it is just as important to take some time for ourselves for our emotional well-being. Perhaps you can try reading a book, listening to music, calling friends, or playing a game with your family. Personally, I enjoy a nice, intense game of Connect Four. Hopefully, we can continue to support each other during such difficult times. From Legion Street on day four of the coronavirus outbreak, from BNB, I'm Ruby Mattis. It is day four of being home from school during the coronavirus shutdown. A lot of work has been put on us already. Well, at least me. I already have an essay due later. My parents, I guess I could say they've been stricter, meaner, because I don't really want to do the work that I should be learning at school at home. Um, I haven't been able to really socialize or hang out with people because of them, so that kind of sucks, except for the occasional texting and FaceTiming. But most of the businesses around me, or stores, they're either empty or almost completely closed in general. The fear of this virus is so intense that it has been called a pandemic, and cities like New York City and San Francisco are, shutting, are going into a shutdown because of it. What I would say is, Please wash your hands. And also, please stop buying all the toilet paper. I need some too. We need some too. Everybody needs the toilet paper. Please stop buying it. From Ray Place on the fourth day of the coronavirus shutdown for BNB, 
I'm Ryan Erickson. From Camp Avenue on day four of the coronavirus shutdown, for BMB, I'm Christina Trupo. These past four days on Camp Avenue, it has been a complete ghost town. Occasionally, I'll see a runner or a dog walker, but other than that, it looks like a dystopian movie. Yesterday, I went down to the Dunkin' Donuts here on Newbridge Road, and me and my friend on the way there made contact with nobody, which is never the case. When we got there, the strip mall was completely empty. Dunkin' Donuts and the pizzeria both took away all of the seating. It looked like they were gonna close any day now. So all you coffee freaks and pizza lovers, make sure to get that coffee and pizza while you still can. Also, with the corona quarantine, not only has it caused grocery stores to be completely chaotic, but also households. Here at the Triple Household, everybody at each other's throats, and it's only been four days. I wish all you kids trapped in your houses, good luck. I hope you and your families all are safe and healthy. And with that, I hope these next two weeks go by as fast as they can. Keep on top of your schoolwork and remember social distancing. Wish me luck, I'm about to go back in the war zone. This has been your coronavirus report for Friday, March 20th, the fifth day of this whole shutdown. We're doing it guys, we're getting through it. If it means napping a lot and staying in your bed, well, so be it. Get your work done. And for more information on this wretched pandemic, please subscribe to BNB for more updates on the BMCHSD community. See you next time, y'all.